Gallup survey reports 21% of Americans say it's a good time to buy a house. 76%, yeah, they say it's not. This is just below last year's record of 78% in that same group. These findings reflect the affordability issue in the housing market. Young Americans looking to buy a home are dealing with record high prices and painfully high mortgage rates. Joining us today to talk about how our local housing market stacks up nationally, we welcome Brett Weinstein. Brett is the CEO and founder of Guide Real Estate. Brett, thank you so much for joining me today. My absolute pleasure. Okay, we were talking about this poll moments ago. Yep. I said, is that kind of the pulse you're getting from people right now, that it's not the best time to buy? And you were honest with me. Absolutely. I, You know, a lot of people right now do not feel like it's a great time to buy a house. Yeah. And so what we're looking at with last month's uh, stats from the Denver Metro Association of Realtors, typically between March and April, we see about a 10% increase in inventory. Okay. Last month, we saw a 19% increase in inventory. Wow. Normally, the pending number kind of keeps up with that. So maybe we, we would have seen 15, 16% because this is a hotter part of our market. Right. We saw 8%. Wow. So we have a lot less people that are out there buying but that actually turns it into a substantially better market. 7,000 yeah. homes or near 7,000 homes is a decent amount of inventory. So Normally we're actually starting- would be starting... slimmer pickings, Oh, right? absolutely. This time I... of year, absolutely. like nearly nothing available yes. for folks. And so right now we're seeing people actually get deals, figuring it out with the mortgage rates. There's a lot of options, but when everyone else feels like it's a bad time to buy, now that we finally have inventory, it actually opens up the door a little bit. And so you just were kind of touching on that inventory. We've, in comparison to this time of year, other years, we actually are pretty stacked. We are stacked. <laughs> we are stacked is a good way to put it. I mean, we've seen two, three, four thousand homes last year. We were in the sixes now, you know, or lower sixes. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the seven, right under seven thousand homes. Wow. We haven't seen that in years mm -hmm. where we've been this high, you know, and I think we'll touch on it of buyers versus sellers yeah, market. Yeah. But when we start to talk about 7,000 homes on the market, mm -hmm. that favors the buyers. Absolutely, because they have a lot more options to pick from if people aren't yep. buying homes. Maybe there's a little bit more wiggle room. We can talk more about pricing, right? That's it. Yeah, absolutely. So what would your advice be? Someone's watching and they're like, all right, I'm, I'm thinking about pulling the trigger, even though these interest rates scare me, right? I, I think that it's a dual answer. Okay. The first one is if you're a seller right now, and we'll start there, mm -hmm. if you're a seller, you're gonna have to have a lot more patience than we're used to within this market. Mm -hmm. For buyers, I think it's, it's still, it's the same conversation. If it becomes realistic for you, if you could figure out the numbers and makes, make it work for you, yeah. there's a lot of room to negotiate right now, and it really does set up buyers to be able to win. Rates are high, prices are high, yeah. and we might get a little bit of price relief if the Fed doesn't lower rates. But once the Fed eventually lowers rates, expect our inventory to start to, sh to shrink up totally. very, very quickly. We have a ton of suppressed buyer demand, and while people may not be excited to buy today, you'd hate to be part of the party when everyone is buying, right. and now suddenly you're competing on every single house. So we're actually in a pretty good spot for buyers that can buy. It's hard to find that sweet spot, Brett, a little Absolutely. bit, right? Uh, there's, there's no such thing. There's no, there's no sweet <laughs> there's no spot in real thing, estate. Yes. Brett, how can people get in touch with you and your brokerage? You, you can just reach out. I mean, we're Guide RE, so feel free to look us up. They can call, text, email. But you know, the, the big thing right now is just people setting up their own goals and making sure that they, they're set up with a professional and yeah. moving forward in the best way that they can for them. Amazing, thank you so much for joining me it today. It is my pleasure. I so appreciate your insight. Thank you.